Hello, everybody. I'm back. Let's see if anyone can find us. <clears throat> okay, I restarted my router and modem. Now it says the stream is okay. My internet company has like a two star review. Crazy. But it's usually not this bad. Someone's probably building or something. Someone's messing with the lines. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Whew, it has been a very stressful time with my other work in real estate. Like crazy stressful, but it's a total learning process every time. It's so crazy. We ain't going to talk about it, though. We're going to talk about jewelry. Do I have the screen open? Yes. Okay. Hey, Immortal Hourglass. Okay. Y'all ready to continue this haul? I'm ready. All right, let me show you what I just pulled out. My cool sunglasses. Those were awesome, right? Hey, Sonia. Welcome back, Jennifer. Hey, guys. Thanks for leaving a comment and, like, just even having fun with it, even if you don't want to win the bag and you're just guessing how many hours will it take for us to go through nine jewelry bags, leave a comment on video number, I put two, on video number one, uh, like how many hours and how many minutes, and you'll win a free jewelry bag on me just for entering. Um, I've had the most comments ever, like literally from all my thrifting videos, and all my jewelry videos, this whole bag contest seems to be pretty popular. So, again, thank you for everyone who has entered or just put a comment in there. So, good luck to everybody. Oh, there's a vintage little thing. You don't see these very often. This poker is maybe could be bent back with like a blow dryer bending the plastic. So, it's just a vintage plasticky, cool hair thingy. I'll set that aside, see if I can fix it. Um, let me pull out the rest. Look at that, we'll test that for Bakelite by rubbing it. It's dirty. We love our jewelry bags, <laughs> I see that. It's fun, I'm glad you guys like it. I want to do content that you guys like, so awesome. Even though some people like my hauls too, so on my pound store, this is awesome. Look at that. Wood. I'm a sucker for anything real, anything from the earth, you guys. It's not a joke. Like, take care of this good quality piece like this. It's wood. It came from the earth, you know? It's not plastic. It's not harmful and it's not toxic. So, I don't know. This is like a bamboo kind of, right? Maybe. I don't know. I think so. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> Actually, you're pretty cool. Sometimes, right? Okay. All right, so this is the third jewelry bag. We're about to fill it up, so we'll fill it up a little bit more, and then we'll start a new one that's going to go on eBay or will be part of one of y'all's giveaways. So you added a guess on the video. Thanks. Oh, look. Here's a turquoise necklace. Is it newer? Looks like real turquoise. <clears throat> when your eye itches. Oh no! Oh goodness. Okay, I got it off here. That's pretty, you guys. It needs to be detangled, but it's a really long necklace. Really pretty. The sun came out! Yay! 
Sorry, I'm fidgeting with my eye. Now we'll get some shine on these gems or whatever, right? Cool, except my face over here. All right, so we'll set this one aside because it's beautiful. Again, this is the junk jewelry bags that I list on eBay. All my PayPal and eBay links are in all of my videos. You can go check out my jewelry bags and bid on them anytime you want. Or you can message me to buy any of this junk jewelry that you want. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my favorite piece why I bought this bag. Um, and it's this wood painted necklace. I don't know if it's vintage or newer. The rope looks like it's actually newer now that I'm looking at it. <clears throat> if I can ever get it out. So what's the problem here? Does it need to untie? Okay, it's right there. Got it. Bam. So the rope appears to be newer, maybe. Really good condition. So this is why I got this jewelry bag. I think I did put one or two bags back, so I didn't get all of them. I thought maybe I would let someone else get a bag or two, so um, I did leave one or two behind. I don't know, maybe only one. That piece is really cool. This is nice because it's a red. Red is considered very sexy. Red and black, I would say, are like your number one colors to sell. Um, so this is nice. None of the stones are missing. It's just a cheaper brand. It looks like Francesca's to me. You can buy these at Walmart now for like $15 or less. Sometimes even like 10 bucks. So here's a really chunky braided bracelet. That is for Hawaii. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it, Gina? I, it looks like it's hand painted. I just love it. it looks so cool. It looks expensive. Here's an acrylic, um, really pretty bangle. None of the stones are missing. Here's another piece that would be like a Francesca's or Walmart, but this seems heavier. Maybe this one would be more expensive because it's heavier, but it is showing, yeah, it's copper showing really bad. Right here. Not sure what these would go for with the copper showing through so much. But it's pretty. Whites. White would probably be like the third color or in the top three colors to resell. Red, black, and white. And then blue. Blue would have to be way up there too. Right? These are plastic, I think. Yeah. And the wires all jacked up. I'll to yeah yes it's broke so we'll jump jewelry that silver tone little chain it's not broke a nice statement bubble you do call these i learned on poshmark you guys um i would have to list a couple of these to make a good little profit on poshmark on these um would probably be where i would want to list this kind of stuff but you do call them bubble and then statement necklaces. Many other words too, right? Thanks, Gina. Good point. I forget that there's newbies here and some people I haven't explained that to in a while. So these are plastic iridescent black beads. Kind of cool, vintage-y. I don't need them. Junk jewelry bag they go. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one of these. Look. It's that house decoration thing on a keychain. Anybody know what this is called? Or is it just called an owl? This is like a vintage house decor thing. 
Oh, you're allergic to copper. Exactly. That's why the resale value on that goes down a lot. And it like leaves marks on your skin too. Like some of it green makes me want to take this off right now because I don't like to wear fake jewelry for very long. So we'll take this off. Jennifer, I don't know that word, even though I've heard it a lot. Mac, macrame, macrame. I don't even know what that is. Let's look it up just because I don't know it. Keep, you keep going in and out and I don't have live chat, says Lori. Dang it. The last video was cutting out. I hope it wasn't for too long. I'll edit out the whole end of the video, I guess. Macrame. 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 Is it plastic? Oh, oh, you are awesome, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Macrame, you guys, it's this rope thingy. <laughs> That's how the owl was made. I didn't know that word. I've heard it a lot. There's so many words, right? <laughs> so funny. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Okay, here's testing Bakelite. You rub it real hard, get a good friction, rub it on your pants, and then you're supposed to smell formalde formaldehyde or like a science classroom is what a YouTube video said, and this is just plastic. <clears throat> a vintage hair clip. That's along with this i could probably auction these off on like ebay most of you you guys would probably be like etsy but i don't sell on etsy just ebay and poshmark <clears throat> that looks like yeah gold tone broken chain these are some long pearls Oh, they're actually layered somehow. They're plastic. I'm going to junk jewelry those too. Someone on eBay can buy them. Plastic iridescent clear ones. Those are cool, like the black ones. And here's some pink ones that are plastic clear. Popular in the 70s. The macrame. Macrame. Yeah, y'all told me in my YouTube video and I already forgot because I don't use that word very often. I don't find macrame, macrame very often either. So, cool. Silver tone necklace. Um, this is a nice little bangle. It's not too tarnished. It's not real silver. Pretty cool. I don't wear these either because they're too big. My dog broke my, another one of my leather beaded bracelets. I think there's scratches from him playing on my arm last night. Um, but yeah, my bracelet broke today. That's a bummer. Didn't we have one of these in the other jewelry bags yesterday? The Poncho, I think that's the word. Some of these are sterling. Oh, let me fix my lighting. Hey, best friend in your thread. You at work today? Oh my gosh, something that swears in my eye. Okay, um, this looks sterling. Then it doesn't. I don't think it is. It could be, possibly. If it is, it's a very thin. Oh, hold on. Very thin layer. What do I do now? Oh, crap. Junk jewelry. Chico's silver toned watch that I'm going to lot up together. I always bundle all the watches. Plastic beaded. I wonder if this, like if, um, that Bakelite could be discolored like that or if they're like a solid color. I'll just rub it just to be checking it. Hey, happy looks. 
How's the screen working, everybody? Is it better? Here's a just a cheaper like Target mud or Walmart brand watch. It's pretty scraped up, pretty good. Yeah, pretty rough. I used to have these when I was little. Did you? These plastic heart bangle bracelets. Oh, just touched my heart. Love it. So cute. I don't have daughters, though. Just sons. Thank goodness we don't have jewelry everywhere. Well, this is adorable. A little vintage enamel charm bracelet with a giraffe, elephant, and a teddy bear enameled. That's really cute. I might like look that up. Uh, probably a belt or more than likely a necklace. It's plastic, like a Bakelite plastic. We'll rub it, even though I know it's not. Get it real nice and hot, warm. Nope, nothing. Come on, Bakelite. This looks like a rock, literally, but apparently it's going to be some kind of gemstone. Cool, huh? tangled let's see here I want the rock but I don't I don't want the blown glass but we will lot up all the glass like Sandra said in a bag hey picking treasures welcome <clears throat> I just want the gemstone. Just give it to me. Is the chain coming off? So here it is. Is that how it hangs? Maybe. The chain is not sterling. It's just some kind of wire. So it's cool. It's like a rock you find outside, you guys. Kind of like a quartz one, though. <clears throat> okay, we have a cluster here. Let's see here, a huge tangle for sure. A vintage paper, what is this? 1957. Herbert is a special communication, Castle Lodge. This looks like the... Um, Mason thing. I don't know. Whichever. Okay, so junk jewelry. Oh, what is that? A bracelet? Never seen it. Cute. It's got a heart. It's a bracelet. Junk jewelry. Okay, it's barely gonna close. I'm gonna start a new junk jewelry bag here. So that's three. <coughs> this come off. Yay. Cool. All right. Look at that fancy, perfect Ziploc bag. We'll leave this one on to protect the bag a little right there. Freemason. Yeah, my hubby is a Freemason. He pays for his membership to be a Freemason. His grandpa and uncle is a Freemason. Okay, she earring here, nope, bangle earring, junk jewelry, silver tone, junk jewelry, earring. Again, I'm only looking for gemstones, really vintage stuff, silver, gold, um, just adorable, cute stuff. Anything that's just basic like this, I don't need it because I have so much of it. Junk jewelry, it goes. These are like a nicer, I don't know, is it acrylic or something beads? Not glass. Plastic. Seed bead bracelet. Remember lotting up a bunch of seed beads. Sell for good money in the craft bags on eBay. At least that's what I saw. Here's a huge bangle bracelet. It's really cool. 
textured brassy yeah brass inside i wonder if i can lot up the brass bracelets together and sell them in a lot Meek. I see, yeah, this is sterling right there. But this isn't right. Sorry about that light. I'm trying to fix it. Yowie, this is a mess. Okay, we need to untangle some stuff. So, deep breath. We have a little girl's made in China necklace. Um, Quick story for Christmas, my stepmother-in-law, stepmother-in-law, yeah, she's not my husband's real mom, but his stepmom, so it's my mother-in-law. Um, she adopted a little girl that she thought was her son's or whatever. She ended up adopting it, but I bought her a little toy for Christmas, but I also had got a new jewelry box in the uh, at the pound store two of them in a cardboard box, new sealed. I filled up the jewelry box with a bunch of little girl jewelry and wrapped it for her for Christmas. So she really liked that as well. I think this is brass. I don't know, don't quote me on that. And these, these are glass beads, yellow and green. Over towards the light, Heather. Okay. <laughs> The day the sun is going throughout the day, so I have to like rotate away from my window. Sunflower, this is really cute. It looks really old. I thought I already pulled this out, but nope, that's another one. A Geneva Platinum Silver Toned Watch. <clears throat> hey, Georgia. Macrame, macrame. I gotta remember that. Macrame. Still got the stick and everything. Total vintage. Hey, Gina, Gina. Here is a, just a little girl's silver blue bracelet oh man this is probably one of the worst tangles i've ever gotten i think deep breath heather you can do it we always do it every video we always get these out i can do it right it's gonna take longer here's that plastic hey we already have one of these oh it's the matching earring it's not silver, but it's a good stainless steel metal, I think. It's not. Yeah, it is sticking. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. I have a matching piece to that. It feels like it's plastic. Should we rub it? Doing better, Gina. Oh, man. It's not. Bakelite. <laughs> I just want some Bakelite. I'm sure I'll find some someday. Man, remember that time we were talking about Bakelite, Gina? And then at the pound store, one of the ladies I talked to found a whole bunch of Bakelite silverware. And I was like, let me have it. Or just please, I'll trade you. She wouldn't let me have it. They didn't even know it was Bakelite. They just thought it was just some silverware. And I was like, you guys don't even know what it is, and I do. <laughs> and I told him what it was. It's okay. I've gotten lots of stuff from people at the pound store where they just gave it to me. And I was like, hey, do you want this? Like the four, or the HD 14 karat nugget wa watch that I had? Or, yeah, was it a watch? Bracelet? Copper necklace. Makes me want to wash my hands. It's so gross. What is this? Is this a necklace? Necklace! Get out of here! Necklace. I say it funny. I um, know. I'm, I'm aware. Sometimes. Got it. It's a... Hmm. Like a faux suede necklace. Cool. Stylish. 
Maybe we'll lock this one up with the other cool stuff over there. Oh, this is overwhelming, you guys. This tangle here. I was going to ask you guys, like, why doesn't Goodwill list up these junk jewelry bags? Have y'all ever seen it online? Earring. Junk jewelry. Golly, we might just move on. Let's see if we got any silver or gold. Or let's get these gemstone seed beads out and then we'll throw the rest in the bag. And we'll move on to the next bag. Yeah, it is. I'm about to chunk it. I see a gold chain. I see the end. Ooh, I see. Ooh, there's an earring right there that's sterling. I have a, another feather earring like this that's sterling, but this is not. Is this the match? There's no way. I have it listed on eBay right now. Hold on, guys. we got to take a second. It's not the same. I know it's not. It's very similar. I have one earring listed on eBay. HW. Cool. Okay. So nobody wants my sterling silver earring on eBay for $9.95 with free shipping starting bid. But here's another one that I found. You love these videos? I know, Georgia, the struggle's real, right? Like, I love my clothing, though, and I can't stop buying it because if you don't buy it, like, it's just going to go to the third world countries. Like, they are. They're sending it in pallets wherever they're sending it. They say they're sending it to third world countries, but, yeah, this jewelry is a lot to, a lot to handle, but it is less stress than the clothes and the shoes. So this can't be Bakelite. There's the mailman, and I think I, f I forgot to ship Poshmark because I'm sitting here doing this. I already shipped all my eBay. I'm good on eBay, but I got a package or two I need to ship on Poshmark. Screw it. I got five days to ship on Poshmark. <laughs> eBay can. <gasps> is that Bakelite? Is this Bakelite? If not, it's wood. Oh, man. Let's see if that's my normal mailman. Just because I'm so nosy. Like, I look at all the cars driving by. I'm pretty sure that's my mailman. Yeah. Same guy. Uh, silver tone earring. Jump jewelry. This is a brooch. Oh, man, you guys. There's sterling in here. Oh. Okay. Untangle it. Deep breath. I tell my six-year-old whenever he gets mad, take a deep breath. And he's so cute because he'll be like, <sighs> he does it so expression. Yep, you got a grandbaby coming soon, Gina. Oh, babies. So much work. They're so precious, but so much work. That's why I got my tubes removed. Like, after two, I was done. Like, there's no going back. Like, I really don't want to have any more kids, and I'm not. But, wow. It's rough. I know. Okay, I just dug out this brooch. No markings. It's not gold, but it's a nice gold tone. Put it with my brooch lot. I don't know what that is. New granddaughter in April. What did y'all do? Y'all did y'all pick a name, Gina? Oh, this looked like Bakelite, just from the videos. Okay, let's get let's get around it. Deep breath, Heather. I need some of my essential oil, right? Take a second. All right, so this is gold tone with silver coming through it. It's not anything. Who's this? This is, I've seen this brand a lot, Jane Marie. It's just an off brand. It's good to see the tag because I've seen that logo, 
J, wait, you can't hardly read it. It's a JM, right? Can't even hardly read it, but there's her tag. Just a cheaper brand. There's her website if anyone wants to look it up. Your sister is buying jewelry from a Goodwill eBay account out of California. Seems to make better deals than some the others I follow. I thought I was done at one kid. 15 years later, I had three more. Woo! Deep breath. <laughs> um... Copper Funky QB, Cube Bangle Bracelet. Oh, I found an opal. I'm aware that opal is sold very cheaply, and then some of it can be very expensive and highly valuable. I'm afraid that this piece is kind of a lower end, but I do love an opal. Gear. I have a bid. Oh, yay, good. I'm like, no, I don't want to offer. Oh, it's a bid. Even better. Because what if it was a low offer? That's trash. Okay, it's just a gold tone. It's kind of bent. No markings on the chain. Um, I remember my my stepdad's grandma, which would be my step-grandma. She would have, like, some mail order stuff. Or she'd have a lot of cheap plastic products for some reason i don't know where she'd get it in the mail or order it i don't know and she'd get too much and it just sit in the garage but people would send her opal in the mail so it was a really lower end but there's one i'm not even picking up a shimmer to it but it does have a beautiful rainbow yeah rainbow up in there It deserved a moment on the black foam that was everything. <sighs> Opal's precious. Aaliyah? Aaliyah or Aaliyah? Probably Aaliyah. I've never researched single earrings. I wonder if they sell. Georgia Parker, they do sell if they're James Avery, girl. Yes, ma'am. Get you some Tiffany earrings and you only got one. If it's marked, it's selling. Mine is just old and real vintage -y and I don't know the maker. It's just stamped with sterling. So. Oh. Okay, copper brat. Copper Brassy Vintage um, Necklace. <laughs> necklace, the way I say it. Yes, first name. Yes, one earring can sell. There are crafters that recreate pieces and parts. Yes. Junk jewelry, crafting, handicapped people. They'll take that feather and make a new necklace or bracelet, charm bracelet out of that one earring. So, yeah. Like, consider that this charm right there can be converted into a charm bracelet or even to a junk book, right, Gina? Copper earring. What is this? It's a sparrow, right? Oh, it's a bracelet. Cool. It's a Christian bracelet, more than likely, with no maker's mark. I'll show y'all. Cute. Is it a dove or a sparrow? I don't know. I'm not a bird expert. Sorry. One of the two. <laughs> I can tell you it's one of the two. Silver tone chain. Silver tone. Oh, wow. That's got leather. Yup, yup. I'm so happy to see you in better spirits, Gina. We did miss you. Health. Health is, can be rough sometimes. I know. Still struggling with my high cholesterol. All right. This is cool glass beaded. Seems newer. Yeah, the leather is real new. So it's a newer style, but it is glass. So we'll put that one aside. It's not broke. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Charm bracelet, junk jewelry. 
it's pretty um, copper scratched up. I guess we're going to have to just go through all of this and get to it as calmly as we can. Because there, like I said, there's sterling stuck all up in here. I see an engraving Avon. Still haven't found my 14 karat or sterling Avon. Okay. Cute. This is cute, you guys. It's an Avon necklace, enamel, some kind of flower. I don't know what flower that is. My mom might know. Really cute. It's a shorter, oh yeah, it, it lays perfect. They really got it right, you guys, back in the day where they placed their necklaces. I mean, some of them are cute, of course, laying down here, but I always like it to be able to show around your shirts and not hiding behind the shirt, if that makes sense. I don't know. Hope you get what I'm saying. Okay, little girl stuff. Wooden little girl bracelet. Oh, those are glass. Nice beads. Handmade. Want to see where we're at? Let's get these out. A dirty feather with a glass bead, I think. It's cheaper. Um, I think that's plastic. I'm just glad y'all like to sit here and sort it with me. Could you imagine doing this just sitting here all day? It's like listing your clothes and your shoes, though. Same concept, but this stuff is always a mystery. You never know what you're going to get. You get stuff from all over the world with jewelry, and people sometimes spend a fortune on it. Okay, got it. We have a really, really vintage shell necklace, sea bead as well. The sea beads. <sighs> okay. I'm going to put that one aside. I've never found JA. I did find two 1970 silver cuff bracelet that have era on both. I believe it's a feminist logo. Need to research more. <laughs> no glue. Um, this is a newer charm little long necklace. Perfect condition. Junk jewelry. Okay, and there's that. All right. Let's see here. Okay, this looks kind of real gold, but I don't think it is. This is the funkiest earring ever. Like an art. Wow, this is fun. I think those are like plastic or something. Okay, can we get to this bracelet here? Okay, this is the other earring I already threw in the bag. Is that wood? Yep. Okay, can we just rub it right, right here? Just rub it. That is so nice. No, I don't smell anything. It's a different kind of thing. It's got those Hawaiian flowers again, Gina. Looks like a really nice. Come out, come out wherever you are. It doesn't help that they put tape all over it. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Oh, that's a pink uh, breast cancer rhinestone 
logo. That's so pretty. Showing copper through it. I bet it's cubic zirconium, so. Okay, don't get distracted. Deep breath, you guys. We can do this. <laughs> this part is not fun. What's this hoop? This hoop is keeping it all together. Do y'all see that? Get out of here. Here we go. <laughs> the sterling is wrapped around it. Maybe. Da 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 da. Just cut it off. You know, this is the best time to get some wire cutters and just kill this earring, right? I could have just chopped it off, right? But I didn't. Maybe in the future we'll cut out some wire cutters if this becomes a huge issue. I would just cut off the copper earrings. Um, taking up way too much time on this already. So here's a gold tone. Um, express necklace that's broken. Wait, is it? I think so. See? Yeah, you gotta be careful. Some of your best stuff is hiding in here. It's because Goodwill missed it too. I almost wanted to give up on it. Okay, the earrings are the what's what's keeping this a problem. One more. I see a big black one. I think this is solving our problem. I've been wanting this dream ketchup. Jeez Louise, it's like you need um tools. I hear the mailman in front of my house. Okay, so this is nice. It's not broke, thankfully. Glass beaded dream catcher. It's like an Indian tradition, right? Is that how you describe that? Yep. Okay, moving along. This blue plastic beaded necklace is really killing it, too. And any comments. Here. Oh, this is cute. Like a choker shell necklace. One of the shells are broke. You could probably just remove it and not even notice it, except it is right there in the front, isn't it? Junk jewelry. Somebody else can make a new necklace with it. Let's take this one apart. Ooh, that one's a shell or something. This looks sterling. It's not sticking. Oh, yeah, this is that shell uh, gemstone necklace. This is cool. I rarely find these. These are very unique. Little rock necklaces. Okay, this looks sterling. It's engraved. 
Dun, dun, dun. This is getting annoying. I know. I'm aware. Come out. Come out. Okay, um, is there any way you can scan the contract at work or home agent does want original copy? Thank you. Maybe. Yeah, okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's see. Keep going. Oh, look at this cat. 92. Oh, it's got a turquoise again in it. This was very popular back in the day. Don't give up. There's some nice pieces. Yeah, there's sterling. We gotta get to it. Let's get this glass. I'm glad I had to get this out. Oh, I can't find the end out, you guys. Like, it's a, you know, a rat's nest, like y'all said, or a maze. I'm working on it. The clinking just gets daunting after a while, I know. This tape is yucky. Okay, where can I let this? Okay, I can't find any more connectors. There's like a huge mess in here. We're going, ooh, that says fossil. Fossils, I mean, okay. It's all the way wrapped in here. Oh, here we go. Fossils all tangled up right there. I'll get you out. <laughs> It's stuck all up on the bangles. <laughs> I don't know if you guys find this interesting or not, but here we are. We're stuck, okay? Like for the first time ever, I am literally stuck. We just delayed the contest. <laughs> like, okay. I'm trying my best here. Oh, it's stuck on a paper tag. That's what the little price tag. <sighs> Finally, I exhale. I got one off.
<clears throat> this rope. Here we go. Come on out, rope. You're next. Yep. The rope should be real easy to get out because it's so thick and it slides right out. So there's a, what, probably a pewter maybe? I don't know. Axe. Junk jewelry to resell. Here, here's what we got on the junk jewelry bag. Our third, no, this is our fourth junk jewelry bag. Stuff that I don't want. Hold on. Okay, this one just came out. Plastic beads. It's broken. Needs repair. Junk jewelry. It's a cute little key charm necklace. Oh, got it. That one's nice. I'm gonna put this one aside. No maker's mark, but let's see. Check this one out. I really like it. Hold on. It's cute. Okay, I'm starting to make progress. What's this little black thing in here? Look at these tiny rhinestones. Get out of here. So tiny. Okay, here we go. Is it broke? Nope. This is adorable. I gotta see how short this is. It's like kind of a brass or something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it's broke. Yeah. So let's see. Kind of roughly. That's a weird necklace. Check it out. Tiny. I guess we'll chunk it. It's so cute though. Oh, look, here's another axe necklace. Comes right out. Pulling out. This, that. Okay, we had this one out already. It's just a gold tone. Oh, it says, does that say Italy but rubbed off? Korea. That's weird. Just gold tone. I'm gonna chunk it. It's not real gold. Here's a little cute necklace. It's just gold tone. Kind of cute though. Look at that. Oh, cute filigree side cubed heart. It's kind of got that. Yeah, it's got mother of pearl. Kind of. It's either a plastic -y or acrylic or mother of pearl, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Are you ready to come out now? I don't think so. Is this bracelets? They're broken. They're broken. It's not ready. Hold on, guys. This is glass. Needed. Cool. Mm -mm. Um, glass beaded necklace. That's cool. It's got kind of a quartzy or whatever stones. I'm surprised my heating pad is still on, and it is, but before it turns off, I'm going to re-click it on. Come back here, because it feels so good. Okay. Oh, your bell didn't ring? That's okay. I've been struggling with all this jewelry, and I'm finally getting to this silver that you like anyways. So you're just right on time, Sandra. Let's take this off and this one off. So that's cool. It's got a, like an old string rope right there. It's not plastic. It's made of yarn or thread. 
yeah, like a thick thread. Okay, okay, back to what we're doing. So these are glass silver tone earrings. That's cool how they taped those. It's the first time I've seen that on the earrings. Gold tone layered necklace. Multicolor, maybe. I think it might be broke. Whoop! Okay, yeah, funny. Any expressions? <clears throat> Come on, I know you, you got a connector. You're coming out of here somewhere. Where is it? These dang layer necklaces that get you every time. It's like, I can't believe you're detangling jewelry online. Yes, I am. When else am I going to do it? I'm talking to myself because I'm getting frustrated is all. Well, that's cool. That's like a pendant, red pendant drop. It's kind of an older style necklace. And it's got like on a dog chain kind of tag thing. This heart looks like a Tiffany kind of heart, but it's not got Tiffany markings, of course. It's just a, like a silver heart with someone's cursive engravings, but I'm almost positive it's Sterling. Oh, it's coming out. Look. Probably won't go off the bell, Sandra, because I've been already gone live like what three times today. It's like, nope, you're cut off. Okay, I'm gonna untangle this little knot later after the video. I won't let y'all suffer through that. <clears throat> I found a sterling silver heart charm, it appears to be silver magnet tested. Yeah, it's not uh, sticking. And I think I can see already on the chain it's stamped. It's really dirty. It needs to be cleaned. What's going on here? Oh, that's extended on there. And it's not, it doesn't go. They added a non-sterling silver extension. Just remove it. And here's the sterling. Ooh, yeah, even the jump hook is stamped 925, you guys. Oh, did I show you the heart? Sorry. It is stamped with someone's engravings. RMS with a big M in the middle. No maker's mark, though. So the chain is 925 all over it everywhere, too. Chain, clasp, jump hooks. It reminds me of a Tiffany piece. Cool. That's a score, finally. Finally, some really nice silver. Makes me happy. <clears throat> Gold tone chain that's broken with some little rhinestones in it. There's some kind of vintage shell hanging on here. It's gold tone. Trying to get it off. It's really cute. Okay, Gina. Okay, got it. Got the, the like huge layer tangle piece here. 
should be gravy. Let me show you where we're at. Then we have two jewelry bags left. Just a reminder, if you're new to this video or any of the jewelry bags we've been listing, go to video one. It was uploaded yesterday. Comment how long it's going to take for me to unbag nine jewelry bags on YouTube. Whoever's closest to the stream time, no editing. I'm not going to edit any video. I usually don't when they're live. I never edit them ever. Um, I have before, but not in a long time. But anyways, whoever's closest wins an entire jewelry bag on me. So go comment on the first video, not this one, unless you want to duplicate the answer. The only way to have to enter is just to leave a comment on video one from yesterday. Thanks. Um, okay, like it's almost out of there, but it's not. I just want to break it all. So let's just get the silver out. Well, it looks like silver. So what's going on here? Like, what's the problem, guys? I'm like, talk to your jewelry like you talk to your plants, right? <laughs> they are real gemstones in here. I'm talking to turquoise here. Turquoise cat. You so crazy, Heather. Or you can talk to yourself, too, whatever you want to do. Oh, the cat came out. The cat came back. All right, so we got a stamp 92 on the back with, I think, some turquoise filled. And the chain is not sterling, or it's also not stamped. It's sticking. The chain is. And the cat is sticking. I think it's stainless steel, right? Is that what it looks like? Looks like it to me. I don't know. Let me know. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I'll be so much better when this is done. Okay. <laughs> see here. Fossil. It's all your fault, Fossil. Okay, if I can get this piece out, I can breathe again. <sighs> I lost half my viewers now. Oh, they went to go leave a comment. <laughs> okay, almost out. It's almost out. I promise. This is the worst ever. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I got it. Wait, did I? Yes, I did. Did I it? Mailman already went. Maybe someone else was checking their mail. I heard a mailbox. Okay, this is a newer, really cool charm necklace from VCLM. I've seen this brand a lot. Cool little charm pendant. We literally are down to like everything. So this is USA CC. It's pretty nice. Quality made. Love the red stone pendant. Whatever you want to call it. I think it's plastic. Is there... Okay, we got the... Okay, maybe I'll just get this detangled in another video. Um, we got the point. The only thing I see valuable in here is this cool gold tarnished fading vintage filigree kind of show. And then there's a fossil necklace or something in here. And I thought there was... Oh, there's the um, cancer awareness... Well, this is sterling. It looks sterling. I wonder if that's on the fossil. 
Um, and this cool bracelet that looks pretty valuable. Okay, it's coming off. Hold on. Okay, there's our cool bracelet. It's heavy. It's etched. This is like one of the best pieces there. Um, okay, so the cubic zirconium cross necklace. Here it is. Oh, it just came out. Got it. The chain is not sterling. They're like light baby pink. They're really cute. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a sterling charm in here. There's a necklace in here, you guys, with some sterling on it. But it's lightweight. So we'll just continue. Okay. So that's all of that jewelry bag. Let's open it up another one. Um, no, not really. Um, sometimes I'll do them on Twitter, Instagram, but rarely. I know, Immortal Hourglass. I've never been one to like, I'm not a big, huge Instagram person. Um, and so that's why I like my videos don't have as many viewers as some of the big people because they like really shout out all their videos and I just go live, wait for people to come, see who stops by. <laughs> Doesn't really, I don't try not to let it get to me that there's only five people here. Just having fun, getting my work done. I'm sorry, I'm not better, Dia. Hello, Looney Circus, what's up? Look at that tape pulls right off. Cool. All right, I'm going to show y'all me pouring out the bag real quick. And look at this. Most of it's individually bagged. Huh. It's a bunch of leather here. I'm like, ooh, that's Mexico leather right there looking. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. Maybe we can keep this separated. Okay, we have a hematite. Hematite? It's a freaking word. See, I'm already getting. It's a long day. Speaking of that, back to work for me. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. It's good to see you. Filigree. Little cute flower. Junk jewelry on that one. So cute, though. All right, what do we got here? Mix of stuff. Okay, we got a minty bubble statement necklace. This one's really heavy too. Looks like it matches the red one we had earlier. Okay, this is junk jewelry. We're going to go ahead and throw this plastic and stuff in the junk jewelry bag. Except I see a hair tie. I'm going to chunk that in the trash can. There's another filigree flower. This is a glass beaded bracelet, possibly sterling silver clasps, not sure. Mm, this is a cheaper plastic silver tone earring and necklace set, junk jewelry bag here. This is interesting, it's really separated. Um, some stones missing in that ring. Appears to be possibly a gold heart. I'm not sure. With an emerald, like the dark green. Hey, hey, Amelia. She's going to go on Roland Picker show. Okay, I'll have to go watch it. I didn't hear about that. Thanks for letting us know, Immortal Hourglass. This is really plasticky. It's got the yellow showing through. Uh, throw that plastic bag away. 
Oh, here's a glass beaded necklace. Necklace, the way I say it. Um, looks kind of older. Would be maybe. Oh my goodness, not $90 worth, but um, Sandra did pick out a few pieces, so maybe 40, 50 bucks possibly I've already made back on my $98 purchase. That's without listing anything with just the YouTube buyer um, that sends me payments. So that's cool. So I don't know. It's just a, all a learning process, I'd have to say. Like, I don't even know the value of this really cool bracelet. Like, it looks like Bakelite. Just needs to either be listed, auctioned off, or whatever. But I only have, like, maybe one or two pieces like this. I think I might have a bigger piece just like this, sort of. I'll have to look. What's this? A dog chain? Cheap. Uh, boy, girl, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Boy, girl, dog chain, junk jewelry. I don't know. Hopefully making out, right? I don't know. Let us know in the chat, do y'all. What do y'all think? Was all of this worth $90? 98 actually. So this was originally $25, and they marked it down to $4.99. Nobody bought it in the store. Then they marked it down to $2.99. I'm just going to pass this in the junk jewelry bag also, even though it's really good condition. Some more glass bead. Oh, this is my favorite. It's that colored. Be careful on these. Some of these may be valuable. These colored glass beads. Who's this? It's got a maker's mark. Um, Esmot, Yesmot, on my dirty thumb there, there you go, very cool, I have faith, <laughs> yeah, thank you, okay, oh, what is all this, plastic stuff, we'll look at it in just a second, let's get all this out. Always like to see the bottom of the bag. So these look like they're real gold, but I'm pretty sure they're gold toned. There's some older, like hand stamped, probably, maybe. I don't know. Earrings, no backs, they're dirty. Yucky. Um, seed bead earring, glass bead. I'll set this one aside. It's not sterling though. Oh, cool. Just a cheaper owl pendant junk jewelry. You need to sort your beads by glass, stone, etc. Well, yeah, that's, I have all the glass stones and the beads in one pile. So all I need to do is like sort out beads and gemstones separated. But luckily they are all glass in a pile. So that's nice. So there's an empty bag. Okay, so let's get rid of this big plasticky Ziploc stuff. Why they didn't put it in one Ziploc bag, I don't know. What is this? Golly, that paper clip looks old. Okay, this almost looks like something that was hanging from your door, you know? It's like a really old plasticky acrylic. We'll rub it. I doubt it's Bakelite. Looks plastic as all get out. No, yeah. <coughs> so dusty and dirty. <laughs> I just joked. I don't know. I mean, I don't think this is worth anything, but it's got like a, a you know, little clasp here. I guess I'll keep it in the junk jewelry bag, but. I will pour it out. Someone's not going to be happy to get that. Maybe I should separate it into two different jewelry bags. I don't want one jewelry bag person to get all of this. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because it's plastic. But I don't think any of it's good. 
like worth money, you let me know because I don't know. If you know. <laughs> if I don't know. Rubber, bracelet, stretchy. I like to be fair. I don't want to rip off anybody. So this is silver toned. Yeah, silver toned plastic, cool little beaded necklace drop. Just making sure my music's on. Plastic faceted bracelet. Ta -ta! They had a dollar on that. Check it out. Let's check it out. It's cute. It's just a long dangle necklace, junk jewelry. I mean, I could separate it later, but I'm throwing it in the junk jewelry because this is way too much jewelry. I got to get rid of this stuff, you guys. I can't list a thousand necklaces on my own. <laughs> my mom doesn't sell on eBay. These are really plasticky. Neon orange. Ooh, are these? What? I'm all, what? We got some pom-pom, Christmassy, Mardi Gras beads, and glass beads next to it. This is fun. Reminds me of the Grinch, this lime green. This is fun. It's old. Plastic silver beads. Uh, ooh. That's a earring. It looks familiar. I wonder if this is in the other junk jewelry bag, like jewelry one bag. Anybody play the playback and see that earring? <laughs> like you'd remember. I've seen so much jewelry, like it all mixes. This cute little Christmas. Uh... Oh, wow. Darn it. I thought this was going to be a real gemstone, but it's plastic. I almost got really excited and then it crashed. Plastic. Acrylic. It could be Bakelite, but I doubt it. Let's rub it because it's got gold glitter in it. Nope. It's broken. Needs repair. Junk jewelry. Filigree earring, junk jewelry. It's more, I don't know what you call these beads, you guys. They're not plastic. They're like acrylic and they sound like glass, but they're not. It's more like an acrylic. Lime green, super cute. I might take that one out and lot it up. I don't know yet. All these Ziploc bags are wearing me out. Gross. Uh, wire, plastic beaded necklace, junk jewelry. We got a watch again, Geneva Platinum. Whoever's buying these Geneva watches, like, please stop. <laughs> because this is like the 50th watch that I've seen by Geneva that's almost brand new and nobody wears them, apparently, because they're in perfect condition. Why are they ending up in the jewelry bags so often? Luke number three, pray for Luke. I'm not sure if you guys know about Luke, but Luke was from my town and he had gotten really sick. And so everyone was praying for him for a very long time. I'm not sure if he, I think he's still around. He's, he's healthy and fighting, I think, still. So wooden bracelet, junk jewelry. Oh, we're going to keep that separate. Um, God, this stuff is all over the place. That's Christmas earrings, a wreath with a candle, super cute. The match will be in there, but I want these little plastic earrings. Not for me, but maybe a lot of, I don't know, super cheap and plastic, but they're cute. Vintage. Silver, wait, those look sterling, but let's look. I like opening all these bags. Yeah, these are silver tone, charm, little dangle earrings, junk jewelry. I don't know what I'm watching back there. 
Some gold tone. Oh, earrings. They got so much fuzz in them. They're creepy like a spider web. God is love. I thought I was going to say God is good, but it's God is love. You should see the pile of Ziploc bags in the corner of the room. Um, really cute. I don't know. I've never done research that I did. I think I did do research on bottle caps on eBay and I didn't see any that sold for good money. So correct me if I'm wrong. Junk jewelry. So G for maybe Garza, Gutierrez, Gina, whoever. It's a wooden, um, necklace. Junk jewelry. All right, plastic rhinestone, copper showing bracelet, really cute. Hmm. Let's see here, we got a lot of clear jewelry here. Maybe we'll put these two pieces aside. They're not really matching, but whatever. Probably throw it in a junk jewelry bag later. Um, gold tone bracelet, the colors coming off. It's really heavy. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the junk jewelry bag. It's going to help me weigh a good 10 pounder so quicker. So I always like when I get heavy jewelry to help me just get rid of a bag or two. I always love these. They remind me when I was little, like a little enamel filled flower. Look at that older clasp there, like real cheap. Junk jewelry. Someone else can take care of it. So this one's cool. It's a really older vintage artsy fartsy glass bead. Look at that beautiful green. It almost looks like a jade, this one. But I don't know. They could just be glass. Look at that light blue. Looks like candy. <laughs> Yummy. So I'll set that one aside. Let me show you how I can tell it's vintage by this piece here. Get that there. Really weird. And actually, since that's glass, I have a huge bag right here of all glass and rhinestone, I think mostly the necklaces. Really good quality ones. These are plastic beaded, faceted necklace, all tangled, junk jewelry. Oh no, there's here's the match to that earring I thought was in jewelry bag one. Here it is. It's got like suns on the back. It's not marked. It's not silver, but they're just cute because they're inlaid with some black. Is that a stone or an enamel? I don't know. Could be a glossy paint. I don't know. Found the match to these glass beaded earrings. They are not sterling, but they're kind of nice. Filigree earring, junk jewelry. The glass beaded earring, junk jewelry. Christmas earrings, matching. Those are cute. Oh, those look like they match those bracelets. Let's look. Ooh, look at this ring. It's a stretchy ring. Really cute. You probably wear it in the middle finger. Watch. It's just one ring. Oh, I didn't mean to flip you off. There you go. That's cool. It's, it's just silver tone. Okay, I'm going to see. I think these match. Ooh. Match those bracelets. Let me grab them. Oh, my knees popped. You guys, I needed to stand up, apparently. Oh, they don't match. They're close. Remember, I had these two uh, bangle bracelets. These are a darker blue, but they're pretty close, huh? Kind of cool. I'm gonna, I just put those earrings with the bracelet just so maybe I might list them together. I don't know. 
Christmas plastic bead necklace, junk jewelry. Oh, this is glass. It's more of a vintage or, oh, that's sterling, I think. No. It looks like it, and then it doesn't. Like, nope, it's sticking real bad. So these are a glass beaded here, and these are like glass too. Some sort of nice bead. I'll set that in that bag too, just in case. It's good. I don't know what this is, but it's silver tone. It's tangled bracelet maybe. Oh, how cute. I love it. It's a big old bow. Silver tone necklace. Maybe lock that up. Uh, spandexy bracelet for a little girl. Hello, kitty ring. So cute. Oh, look at it. I'm going to leave it on. There's a bow. Um, is that the match? Oh, that is the match. Cool. Matching earrings. Black cheaper um, bracelet, junk jewelry. Let's see if we can open this light again. Perfect. I think that's a plastic bead. Well, that one's glass. It's a newer one though. Let's see, this one has gemstones on it. Oh, look, there's the other bow earring. How cool. We got a set. Even though it's a cheaper end, but that's okay. It's still pretty. So these are like gemstones. They got real rocks and glass beads all over it. It is a newer style, so probably not worth a lot, but I guess I'll put it in that bag. I don't know why I'm putting it in the bag. I need to throw it over there. <clears throat> oh, wow. This is a necklace. I remember these. It's like a gothier. Hmm. I wonder how you describe this. Ball. ASMR with Heather. I don't know what that means. Oh, did I miss something? I would help you sort of if I could. Sounds fun. I'm nerdy that way. <laughs> so funny. Okay, just a silver tone chain. All right, what's in this bag here? I swear those... I'm all gonna bite it. No matter how dirty it is, it's like stainless steel but silver. Yeah, that's sticking. It's just stainless steel but really nice vintage, like, blue stars. Really cool. You're back. The Midnight Raven. It looks silver, but it's not. Stainless steel. I'm listening to music in the background, so I had to skip a commercial. Heavier gold tone earring. No maker's mark. Really heavy, though. It's nice. Oh, here's an infinity, infinity and cross necklace. That one's nice. Hmm. I like it. Kind of go with a little set like that. Maybe the ring and the necklace. Could be. All right, here's what I'm stuck with here. So we got, oh, what's that? Plastic? Oh, there's another earring. Oh, I put it right here. They're plastic. We'll put them in the junk jewelry. A football helmet. Are you serious? Maybe these vintage earrings. Matches. Man, too, oh, I was like, too bad we never found the match to this, but this is actually a brooch. Forgot. This is silver toned. 
very heavy and the purple or blue beads are plastic. Oh, there's a match, that gold earring. I'm gonna chunk it in the jewelry bag, junk jewelry. Plastic beads. So are these matching? I think they put matchers in here. So these are matching. Are these even worth anything? Anybody know? These little yarn threaded vintage earrings. Oh, this bag smells like perfume. Gross. Yucky. Junk jewelry. I'm not sure what team that is. Junk jewelry, junk jewelry earring, junk jewelry missing the stone again earring match. This is interesting. I doubt these sell for anything, but I'll look them up. They're button leather suede earrings. They look vintage. Never seen them before. Cute little vintage plastic pearly heart. So cute. Shell earring maybe? Yeah, shell. Okay, what's this little guy? It's just a heart earring gold tone. Cool, got rid of all that. One more jewelry bag after this, guys. All we got, wait, I'm hiding some. There's a bag there, sorry. Don't get too excited. <clears throat> sea bead bracelet falling it needs a repair junk jewelry craft bag lots of beautiful jewelry hello ken and rave i'm doing good how are you today my fingers are black from all this dirty jewelry last night i was thinking to myself man i wonder how many toxins i'm putting in my body from all the lotions and the the Lotion, perfume, all the toxic metals. Like some of these metals back in the day, they didn't know that they were harmful for people. Like I was holding a pot at the pound store and this really smart man named Mike, his name is literally Michael Jackson. Um, I think there's two Michael Jackson names in my town. There could be more. Um, I just said the name because it's Michael Jackson, like, really? Um, he was like, oh, be careful touching that pan. He said, that could be lead. Yeah. I, yeah, like, half of this jewelry is probably made of lead, and that stuff is not good for you. So now I need to take a break and wash my hands. So these are cool, the uh, old vintage -y Yin, yin and yang sign. It looks like there's two sets of these earrings for like twins or something. I don't know. I'll put those in a little tiny bag because they're cool. And I'm going to rinse my hands like literally right next to the video. Just because it's probably about that time. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> Thanks for waiting. Oh, maybe I have it upside down. I love boobies. <laughs> okay, we got a watch. It's a Timex. Really cheap. It almost feels plastic. It's shocking that this is even a silver. Crazy. Okay, let's get this out of the way because it looks like plastic. Yeah, plastic. Really cool. Does this come apart? Oh, wow. <laughs> what a way to play with your jewelry. Look at that. Plastic. Funky junk jewelry bag. A wooden peace sign bracelet. Cute for a kid. 
tons of jewelry in here for kids, you guys. Maybe this is a hair tie or a bracelet. We'll keep it in the bag. Junk jewelry bag. Okay, so this is probably the best bag here. So let's get rid of these here. These are cool. What's this made out of? Do you guys know? Acrylic, maybe? I like vintagey. That bread bag thingy. That's what that reminds me of, too. I've never seen one of these. Pretty, pretty DNA filled up. Kitty, you're going to have to go over here. Hands are still wet. Sorry. Okay. What's over here? We got maybe one or two good things over here. Freaking Ziploc bags, man. All right. Is that a pizza or it's just a triangle necklace? Silver tone, 50 cents. Junk jewelry, it goes. It's like, thanks for all these nice bags, Goodwill. I can really use these. Unless this was an estate sale or a garage sale. One of the two. Um, Honestly, Immortal Hourglass, I feel like the time it's taking... Um, the time that it's taking to unbag all this is a lot of time. Luckily, I do get small revenue from YouTube paid back eventually. Yeah, DNA. I learned that from the other videos. Um, going on Grumpy, maybe? Barb told me that. Somebody like that, I think. Um, her channel, Going on Grumpy. I think she's the one that told me that, possibly. Um... So that helps. Again, Sandra here in the chat has purchased um, jewelry for me. So I'd say a good profit of that is back half my money at least, roughly, um, just from jewelry. So that's good. But yes, if I were to list all these pieces and stuff, like to literally get this stuff lotted up and sell it, and then jewelry bags. I have three jewelry bags that I will auction off, which one of them needs to go to a YouTube winner. So I'll have four or five junk jewelry bags. If, yeah, four or five junk jewelry bags, and they all sell for at least $25 plus the shipping. Yeah, so I'll make my money back since this store only charged me $10 and not $25 like my Goodwill that's um, just a small Goodwill. I got all this jewelry from a boutique, a Goodwill boutique. Procrastination every day. Yeah, if you can turn a $10 bag into finding 20 or $30, like if you find two pieces in here that are worth 20 or 30 bucks, your profits already doubled there. But then the jewelry bag will be full and it will be auctioned off on eBay. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, we got this will be our fourth junk jewelry bag that we're getting out of all of the nine total bags. So again, those will be auctioned off on eBay. If you're interested in uh, bidding on any of these jewelry bags, my eBay link again is always in um, the drop down box on all of my YouTube videos as well as my PayPal. And then if you go to video one, which was uploaded yesterday, Comment how many hours and how many minutes it will take for me to unbag nine bags of jewelry on YouTube starting yesterday. Comment on video one and I will uh, see who's the closest and you will win a jewelry bag. So, okay, moving along. So here is a really cool nautical. Really cool because I love, again, the water, the ocean, everything about it is a favorite of mine. I'm a water baby, born in August, the summertime. I'll keep this out. Super cool. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's a, a clay, maybe. Oh, that's a um, a horoscope sign. Is that anybody's? Is that a Leo? It's not a Leo, right? It looks familiar. That's 
that is the same way I think of the bags too. When they are priced decent, I pick them up wherever I find them. People are so difficult. I will not let unhappy people get me down. The motto for the week, you guys, do not let unhappy people tear you down. They try so hard. Not like on purpose. It's just because they're unhappy themselves. Like literally. Ugh. Okay. I got a leather bracelet here. It's not stamped or engraved. It's like dyed or painted or whatever. It's really cool. I'm sure if y'all are getting that. Tribal looking. Sorry, I'm jamming out to some music over there. Oh, I was going to look up the horoscope signs. It'll take me a second, promise. Let's see whose sign this is. Horoscope. Horoscope sign. Signs. <clears throat> I'm not finding it. Hold on. Oh, there's a big old graph. I'm not even seeing it. Oh, there it is. Sandra. It is a Leo. That's why I had to look it up, you guys. It's at my own my own sign. Astrology. Right there in the center, the blue one, right? It's a little shaped differently, but the closest one I can find is the Leo, which is right there. It's like an octopus, right? Hmm. Learn something new every day. I love Leo stuff, but this is a little thick and it's more of a manlier bracelet. Hmm. I might look into this one. Leo stuff, I rarely find any jewelry, so we'll see. <clears throat> this is glass beaded. Ew, it's got so much DNA hair in it. Glass beaded vintage bracelet. I'll chunk it over here. We'll put it with the glass stuff, I guess. Okay, I'm going to show you guys this bag because it's going to be fun pulling out stuff because it's like random. Like, what is in here? This Ziploc bag, well, let's get rid of this little one. 50 cents, chunk it in the junk jewelry, it's a little sandal. Um, look at this stuff. All leather and wood. Oh, bam. Some sunflower. Oh, look at this Jamaican one. Kind of dirty. I'm gonna chunk this one. Looks like it's pretty worn out, maybe. Um, this is glass beaded black. Ooh, dragonfly. Awesome. Is it onyx? I don't know. This is cool. Love it. No maker's mark. Here's the clasp. It looks kind of newer, but this doesn't. I don't know. Very cute. Okay, manlier necklace. This one looks like a bone or a something. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it's nice, good quality, like a glass stone kind of. Hey, Rosie. <clears throat> I got a watch in there. Cool, it's leather too. Okay, let's get these rusted copper bangles. I'm going to chunk these in the junk jewelry. Oh, wow. Do you see that? Where's Sandra? I'm all, where's Sandra? <laughs> Little girls. What is this? A necklace? That's what it looks like. How do you even fit that on a little girl's head? Maybe they fit. I don't know, but that's tiny. That's a bracelet, Heather. Shush. This silly girl. It's a bracelet. Sorry, guys. 
been sitting here all day doing this. Okay, we got a manlier leather necklace. We got a wood bead necklace. I already showed y'all that one. What's this one? It's like a... Um, I think it's a wood. I don't know. Oh, Sandra, yeah, look. Look at this vintage bear. He's got pearls in his eyes. Anyways, it's just old, so I was calling you. <laughs> it's just not gold, though. It's really tarnished a little bit. Fading. He is super cute, though, because he's so old. Um, this is actually red coral. It looks like the, um, oh, I can't remember the name. I said it yesterday. So showing you these two pieces, hand carved flower, both sides. Looks like a, what do y'all call this? Bone or something else? Husk maybe? Here's a flower one. That one's cute. Uh, this one's like a clay or ceramic one, glazed. They baked it. Probably handmade, I bet. I don't know. Okay, what else? Look at that. We got a gemstone rock. My favorite. It's not sticking, but I don't, yeah, that's not silver. It's a real glass rock. You're back. Is this on YouTube? Yeah. Same video? Um, I don't know if this is the same. No, I think I had to restart the router and the modem. What? Oh, that's an earring, a spider earring made in Taiwan. Is the other one in there? Chunk jewelry, that one. Is oh, no, look, I got that match. Oh, it is lunchtime, huh? Well, that's cool because I'll finish this bag and then I'll end the video and we'll start our last and final video on a new stream after this little baggie. So, so I can eat lunch with the hubby. What fish? What's that burrito? Did you buy those? No, these are from Saturday. From where? Same place. The hubby place. Yeah, no, I'll eat one of those. Okay. Yes. Really? These are cute. They're rubber earrings. They're dirty though. No, go ahead and just leave it out, please. If you told me you were coming home, I would have ended the video. Gold tone earring. Gold tone earring. Gold tone earring. Wait. What? That looks real gold, actually. Kind of. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Pigulus. Oh, cool. It's a vintage button. Looks like um, those crybaby babies. What is it? Um, you said you didn't know them from the bubble gum. It looks like that. Anyways, um, advanced light leather bracelet details quartz. Pigulous. I don't know who that is. <clears throat> Ziploc baggie, 50 cents. Because here's the last jewelry bag. Let me show you guys. This is the last jewelry bag. So when we start the next video after lunch, which will probably be, uh, we'll probably be done by two o'clock. It's 1.20 now, spider Stephanie. Um, when I open this bag, it will be the last time that you can go to video one and comment how many hours and how many total minutes will it take for us to unbag nine bags on YouTube. Whoever wins gets to win a full entire junk jewelry craft bag. So go comment on video one. So that's the last one. So we just have this little bit to go through. So like a mother of pearl. Oh my gosh, a troll just flew out. 
It's glass beaded. That's cute. Look at this troll. He's so stinking cute. I love it. Is there any more? I love the troll. No markings. Look at his butt. Look at his butt cheeks. You're not a troll if you're not flashing and mooning your butt, right? Fifty cent necklace, gold tone, chunk it. Oh, I got a gold watch in here. Hold on. Oh, I see these a lot. They're really old, and I have a bigger one actually. <laughs> the peach, but this may be real silver. That's old. I bet the markings are hiding. Yeah. Possible real silver backing on this pearl button earring. I'll have to test it. Okay. So here's just a silver toned, like a black toned drop, blue beaded necklace. Is that glass? Yeah, it is. Kind of nice. Lotted up with that other one, right? What is this? A strawberry? I don't even know. Um, again, I don't even know. Is this supposed to be an egg earring? An egg for Easter? Bird lover. Oh no, here's the other one. Maybe we need to sell these as a bird egg. These are cute. Look like an actual bird egg because they're dirty. So freaking funny. Filigree earring, matching, junk jewelry. I'll set these aside for, I have a huge earring lot bag, maybe. A sun pendant broke. Oh, here's another yin yang earring, a bigger one. Oh, look, here's another pin. It's puffing, poofing. With the creepy, crazy. Ooh. I've never even seen that, and I had a little brother. Candy corn earrings. Orange. Ooh, we have the matching windmill with fish. Love it. Matching. I don't know what kind of metal that is, you guys. Don't get me lying. Oh, this is so cute. Look at the wood heart. Okay, and we'll end the video in a few minutes or seconds. Ooh, look, here's a gemstone cross. We'll keep that. Junk jewelry, junk, junk, or clover junk, junk. Junk, junk. Uh, I think those are frogs. Junk jewelry. Junk jewelry. Junk. That's like a little soda light or something. Junk jewelry. Okay, all of this is junk jewelry. Except maybe this pendant. That's how they're matching earring. We'll leave it in the junk jewelry bag. Or wait, maybe I just pushed it back. Hold on. Okay, this. What's this? Oh, that's cool. Some ladybug flower earrings that hang down. Hmm. I'll keep these out just because they're a ladybug. This appears to be silver or stainless steel. It's sticking all over, except for the sections there. Liquid silver, huh? Maybe. 
gold tone bracelet. There. And that's a wrap, you guys. This is golf ball. Dork. <laughs> that's right. I love the emojis. How cute. All right. So that's the, uh, this is the fourth junk jewelry bag. It's halfway full. Again, we will do one more bag, probably about two o'clock or two 15. If you want to join in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. It will alert you sometimes when I go live. And don't forget, go to video one. It was uploaded yesterday. How many hours and how many minutes? Don't do seconds, please. Um, will it take for us to upload this jewelry bag or all of them, all nine of them on YouTube? Whoever's closest gets to win a free jewelry bag, completely free. I'll pay for the shipping. Don't worry about it. And if you just want to go comment just to play and you don't want a jewelry bag, just leave a comment. Doesn't matter. So we'll see you guys here in 30, 40 minutes. So bye-bye. Enjoy. See you later, guys.